Welcome talk. Welcome to the evening edition of DIY Live with Home Talk. Uh, I'm Molly, a blogger at Just a Little Creativity, and this is my daughter, Era. Hi. She will be my assistant this evening. Um, she's home from college, and so I pulled her into work. Tonight, we're going to be making a fun little project. It's for your front yard. Um, it's going to be an address sign to let Santa know exactly where to stop. The kids will be excited about this project and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a fun one. All right, so let's get started. Um, because of time restraints and because I'm working obviously in my house, there's a couple things that I have gone ahead and done ahead of time, but I'm gonna show you all the supplies that we're using. Um, everything I've purchased has been from Home Depot or Joann's, so you can probably get it at Lowe's or any other craft store. Um, to make our sign, we're going to have real wood products because you don't want to use MDF because it is uh, an outdoor an outdoor item, so you don't want the rain to get on it. So um, we're going to have a wood finial with the screw on the bottom here. You're going to have the wood finial. You're going to have your wooden uh, address numbers, whatever your address is, obviously. Um, a spindle. I found this wood spindle at um, uh, Home Depot. I think it's maybe three feet tall. Uh, they probably have other sizes, I'm not sure. And um, a piece of plywood. Now you can have the plywood cut to whatever size you want at Home Depot. Um, I actually found this piece. It's a quarter of an inch thick and I found it at Joann's and it was already cut pretty much the size I wanted. So that's what uh, I went ahead and chose to buy. Now, like I said, I made a couple things ahead of time um, for the spindle. I went ahead and spray painted it with regular spray paint. Uh, Krylon is what I use. Spray painted it red. You can see down here on this end, I took a skill saw and sliced off the corners. That will make it really easy to go into the ground whenever it's ready. Um, you don't have to if you don't if you don't have skill saw. Or you're not comfortable using a saw. The blunt end like this will work also. So that is going to be the spindle that we're going to use for our sign tonight. Um, I went ahead and painted the uh, actual sign part of it white, again ahead of time, um, with spray paint. And then I painted the finial ahead of time in white. Um, all of this obviously takes dry time, and so g give yourself a little bit of time to do that. Um, we're going to jump right in and get started. Uh, I have not painted the numbers ahead of time, so we're going to... Get started with that by using regular craft paint, craft acrylic paint. Um, for ours, for Christmas colors, we're going to use green. You want to put some of that green in there. And we're going to just start painting the uh, address numbers. And then I'm going to also take white and I'm going to paint in. Um, these spindles are pretty cool because they have kind of little scrolly, um, not really scrolly, they have little details that you can really highlight with a, another color paint. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, we are uh, coming at you from Florida, Pensacola, Florida, northwest part of the state. Um, you guys let me know where you're all from and let me know what the temperature's like there. Here it's actually a little bit cold, 40-ish. We, ju we just had somebody from uh, Western Australia. Hey, Saw Australia. Saw one from... Uh, South Dakota, Sweden, all over the place. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, so we're going to just um, take a few minutes here and paint our details. Uh, the wood letters are not primed, so they're going to soak up that paint. And they actually don't take very long to dry, uh, which is a good thing for this, this case. Again, this is just craft paint going on spray paint, and it's just going to kind of highlight the details. Uh, you may, when you have a little more time, if your first coat of paint isn't dark enough or you can see, you know, still some of the wood grain through and you don't really like that, you can go back in with a second coat. But this is really a pretty easy project to work on. What's everyone, what's everyone up to for Christmas? Has everyone got their houses decorated? Have you got your Christmas shopping finished? My husband, uh, just finished some Christmas shopping this afternoon, actually, and now he's got the little guys out, I think, looking at Christmas lights while we do this live demo for you. So you don't have to hear a bunch of little kids running around. Um, as you can see, I'm just kind of highlighting the, the accents on the spindle. I imagine each hardware store 
lumber store is going to have different a different style of spindles and they're just regular spindles I think that you'd use to build a little fence or a deck or whatever but uh I like the red and the white it's kind of candy cane esque if anybody has any questions for me just shout out and uh, my little camera guy there will try to try to get them to me oh yeah a lot of people are commenting like the uh, temperature in their place. It's pretty yes. crazy. We're like at, well, it's not too bad right now. It's like what fifty eight, I want to say. Here in Florida. But yesterday, yeah, yesterday it was like seventy eight. So. <laughs> yesterday we were in shorts and t-shirts and tank tops. Today uh, a little bit longer sleeves. It's of, crazy. Of course, Floridians get to you know fifty degrees and we're bundled in our coats and boots, shoes, all of all of the warm weather things, all the things keep us warm. All right, now of course, again, anytime you're painting, you're going to have, uh, you're gonna need some dry time, and so we're gonna get through this quick for this demo, but give yourself some extra time at home if you want to, you know, again, do a second coat, add some details. So just pulling out the white, you can see the white on the red makes it little more Christmassy there. Um, I want to mention to you while I have a second that Home Talk is going to be offering a giveaway throughout this video for everyone who shares this video live um, with their own page or on their friends page. Give us a shout in the comments and let us know you shared it and then they will be choosing a winner at random for everyone that has shared the project. Uh, and you can just do that by clicking the share button there on Facebook. All right, just about done with this part. It's crazy, we're getting like a lot of like, somebody just said I think with the wind chill it was negative 30. You guys it's bundle up, stuff. stay stay warm, stay inside. All right, so we've got that about done. I'm gonna let Era finish up the uh, letters there, and I'm gonna show you the next step. And this is gonna be to add the finial to the top of the spindle. I'm gonna step around you so that they can see me do this. Okay, so I'm gonna use the drill bit here. Again, the, the uh, spindle has a, the screw already on there. Let me add if it rolls off, please. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just gonna start a little pilot hole and then I'm gonna take the spindle and screw it on there, my, screw it on there myself. <laughs> size drill bit that is this one well it's going to depend on which uh which kind your you know your your spindle, spindle is but i'm pretty sure that's like a oh my goodness maybe half inch if that sounds right i actually didn't even look before i it's our dog in the lower picture if you're one yeah that's wrigley <laughs> that's our uh he's curious springer spaniel so you can see here everything. maybe come in closer you can see where I put that hole the pilot hole I'm literally just screwing this finial on there it is not a hard thing to do there we go and that is it I guess you could put a little bit of wood glue in there if you wanted to but that is gonna be your cute little decorative post top spindle for your stake there it's a little crooked but I'll worry about that in a bit Okay, so we have the address letter, I mean, uh, yes, address numbers, not letters. I keep saying that, drying over there. And while we do, um, you can, you don't have to just use craft paint, you can use um, a paint pen, and I'm going to do that and probably decorate the top of the spindle real quick. I have all my little supplies over here. Again, I'm going to use, a, these are just painter's paint pens, uh, I don't know. They're not oil-based or anything like that. They're just the kind you can get at the craft store. And you can really decorate this any way you want. You could do swirls, you can do, the cool thing about paint pens is you're literally just drawing things on there. You could do little Christmas polka dots. You can accent the, you know, the, the uh, indentions. indentions. Yeah, all the little decorative parts here. All right, so just gonna do a few of those for you. 
you can be creative. You do not have to do polka dots. You could write your family name if you wanted. Again, don't forget to hit the uh, share button down there for a chance to win a cool little prize from Home Talk giveaway. Um, share it during the live episode and they will be picking a winner by the end of the episode here. Where's everyone tuning in from tonight? I know we had some Australia. We've had some cool places. We're here in Florida. All right. So you can see that really doesn't take much time. Again, just watch your fingers while the paint's drying. All right, we done with those numbers over there, Erin? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So literally just in a few minutes, we've got the finial on the top, on the spindle, got the spindle decorated. Next, for our sign, like I said, we have to let Santa know where we're living. So, I'm gonna pull out my white sign. This is, again, plywood. I would probably, I should have done it earlier, painted the back just to seal it really well uh, from the elements. We have that right. That's what somebody was saying. Maybe you could use like exterior paint or something yeah, like that. Yeah, you could, you could. It makes and, it last longer. Right, you can. I have one that I made for my house like four years ago. And we've had it out every Christmas and it has held up fine. But again, use real wood, don't use MDF. There are some cool fonts and numbers available, but they're, I mean, they're, make sure you find some real wood. Okay, so we want to make it say Santa stops here. And what I did was print it out ahead of time. If you want to freehand this part, you can. What I did for those of you who aren't real comfortable with, you know, fancy typography, print it out, cut it out. And place it on your board this way. Just kind of eyeball it there. Don't forget that your numbers are going to be going in up here. And because it does not have to be perfect, it can be kind of whimsical. If you want it perfect, that's fine. Will you tape? I'm going to get one going in. You tape the other ones down. We got a lot of people tuning in. Thanks, guys. About 2.5 thousand. It's pretty awesome. Welcome, welcome. Whoop, whoop. Let us know where you're from and make sure that you share for a chance to win. Okay, go ahead and do those. Okay, so again, this is a quick way. If you are not comfortable with uh, hand lettering, get yourself some carbon paper. This works for all those cool, fancy signs you see at the shops these days. Carbon paper, it can go right under your words. What side goes up? Uh, yes, what side goes up? I'm finding my pen. Okay, so when you're using the carbon paper, the printed, usually in general, you may have some that doesn't, but all of mine I've ever bought has a printed side and a non-printed side. The printed side goes up. It's tracing paper. Remember back in elementary school days? And you're literally going to set it under, on top of your sign, under your words. Yeah, yeah and you're going to trace your letters. I'm going to let you get started on that side so we can show them what that looks like when it's done. I think so. Yeah. Texas. You guys were just Welcome in Texas. Texas. I was just in Texas for my anniversary this past weekend. We went to uh, the silos at Magnolia Farms in Waco. Pretty cool place. My husband asked where I wanted to go for our anniversary and that's what I told him. <laughs> it was fun. Where can you get part, uh, carbon paper at? So you can get it at any office supply store. I got mine at Office Depot, but you can also order it online. I've seen it online too, probably Amazon or wherever. Okay, now maybe you can get in close. You can see just doing, I mean, I didn't, you don't even have to press very hard, but you can see where the it transferred onto the sign there. Yeah. I'm gonna do the stops real quick. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna show you. And you just take your papers off. So this this um, method again works really good for some cool typography yeah. signs. If you can get some help, get some help. It makes the project go really fast. Okay. So that's that. Now, so now you have the sign. It says Santa stops here. You're going to have your numbers above that in just a second. Actually, why don't we go ahead and glue those on there so that we can um, we can have those drying while we are filling in the letters. We're going to go ahead and decorate the sign for you a bit, but before we do that, I'm taking regular wood glue, and again, the one I made four years ago, all I used on these was wood glue, 
If you want to put a little nail in it or a screw, you can. Um, just make sure they're not sticking out the back. So I'm gonna use regular wood glue on the back of these. Like I said, they, I mean, they're just barely wet on the edges mm -hmm. um, because they're, they're unfinished wood. So I'm not putting a lot. And I'm probably not even gonna put these real straight. I'm gonna put them kind of whimsical. And I'm gonna let them start drying. Just kind of eyeballing that. And this is gonna make your kids happy that Santa will know. Now, you could make a sign for your yard with your address for really any time of the year. Uh, I, I don't have really good numbers on my house, so it would be probably beneficial too. Is it 7713 or 31? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm making this one for my sister for Christmas and hopefully she's not tuning in and I'm Fingers crossed that I just got her address right. Uh, if not, okay, so if you make one and it doesn't work, with the wood glue, you'll have time to pull that off. And even if you pull it off and it pulls some of the paint with it, sand that part down and then just um, tape off whatever area you don't want uh, to get paint and then just kind of start over in just that section. So if I need to reverse these, um, I, you know, after it's dry, you pull them off, sand it down, respray paint, and then put them on correctly. Anyway, okay, so now we're gonna let those dry. And we are gonna decorate our letters. Remember the typography that we just did. Welcome everyone who just now might be tuning in. We're making a fun street address sign so Santa won't miss those kiddos this Christmas. He'll know exactly where to go. This is gonna go in your yard when it is finished. You guys be, sh be sure to uh, share this video. Um, Home Talk's doing like a giveaway, I think, so. If you share the video, your name will be put in, you'll have a chance to win it. Yes. All right, we're gonna go back to our paint pens um, because these are just fantastic. And we are going to now fill in those letters that we just did, we're, we just uh, traced them with the carbon paper and we're gonna let Santa know that he needs to stop here. So this won't take very long. Just paint pens and you're gonna trace your letters. You can make them whatever thickness you want, but doesn't have to be perfect. That's the cool thing about this project is it's kind of whimsical. Yeah, you guys make sure to share the video and Home Talk is gonna be choosing a winner for a giveaway here. Let us know where you're tuning in from. We're down here in Florida. You traced your letters better than I did. Okay. I'm too busy to do this. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure with any paint project you give yourself some drying time. We're really kind of doing this one quickly, but you can see that it, it really doesn't take very long. This project is fun because honestly anybody can anybody can make it. You guys can make this. You want to switch and I'll fill in the mm -hmm. little spaces. Like the kind of the... Uh, so I'm going to ask uh, where you guys get the spindles from again? So I got the, the spindle uh, at Home Depot. And you can probably just ask somebody there like where to find them. Uh, it was in just the fencing section there. All right. Almost done with this part. I'm trying to give these numbers a little bit of time to dry. Again, I just use wood glue and uh, they've lasted on my sign that I use in my yard all these years. So if they do come off, you can just glue them back on. Um, all of the steps to this original project you can find on my blog, just a little creativity. You can search under Christmas and just look up uh, address sign and you'll find it and all the steps. And it's also posted on Home Talk as well as um, the step-by-step -step instructions and the places that I purchased my materials from. All right. So I'm just kind of, right now, I'm just kind of doing a little bit of detail. Um, on the typography here in just a little bit. Cincinnati, Ohio. What up? Welcome, Ohio. Has everyone got their Christmas shopping finished? All right. Okay. Now, I'm gonna flip it around. Again, if you wanted to make your letter sticker, you can. You don't have to. It tells Santa where the address is. Um. 
I am going to do one more thing as far as decorating and that's going to be to draw like a little whimsical line around and uh, do some little like candy cane stripes and I won't fill them all in for you tonight just for time constraints but you can see there's no perfect right or wrong way to do these. This is just going to add a little bit of a decorative edge. Um, and then if I wanted to make little candy cane stripes, again, I'm just using the paint pen and I would do this like this all the way around. All right. It's almost like everyone likes those adult coloring books now. It's almost like just coloring in the lines. <laughs> and if you get a little out of out of the line, that's fine. Uh oh, somebody said shopping's not done yet. Oh, uh, mine get isn't on either. It. Mine isn't either. Okay. Us so you kids get want the Christmas presents. You get the idea here. <laughs> you get the idea here. I would take and continue this border all the way around. I am going to show you real quick how to attach it to your um, spindle. If you're just tuning in, we've decorated the spindle. It's, it was painted red, painted white in little decorative areas. We added the finial and the dots. And next, I'm going to... God, this part will for sure need help with. One thing you want to do is make sure it's centered. And so, real quick, if I... Oh, no, I probably don't even have my tape measure with me. You would tape... You would uh, measure center. I'm just going to eyeball this one. Okay, I'm going to switch out my... Real. This is kind of the part where having another person might come in handy. It does come in handy. Get some more help. Get it done faster, safer. Yes. Are you saying you don't trust my drilling skills? No, I'm not saying that. Okay, so this is just a, uh, so I, this is a, what kind were these? One and a half inch screws because they were perfect for the quarter inch plywood and then going through to the, uh, to the post. Now, once I drill these in, you'll see the screws and you can either go back with some wood filler and then paint over it or just paint over it. It's, it's going outside, it doesn't really matter that much. So I'm probably gonna screw this in down here. Let's see, now I'm gonna go up a little bit higher. I'm trying to make sure I don't hit one of those little decorative spots. <laughs> Hopefully it's charged. Y'all don't laugh at me now. Whoop. <laughs> or do. Hold that. <laughs> don't laugh. Just give it down. Hold, Hold that it. down for me, please. What you can do is share it. <laughs> share the video. Okay. Here, maybe you can come in closer. I'm going to do that a little slower. Yeah, hold it still. There we go. All right. One. If you want to... Um, just show that, well, you don't have to right now. Again, you can just paint over, I mean, that doesn't look cute, that little dark screw. You can probably buy white screws. Are white yeah, screws available sure. with it? Somebody tell me, are there white screws available? Oh, this thing is so wobbly, okay. Yeah, don't like that number moved. Good grief, people. There we go. There it goes. Okay. All right. All right. I'm gonna lift this one a little bit, but because uh, these are still drying, I don't want them to slide all the way off. But then this way you'll kind of get a good idea of what it's gonna look like. Uh, white screws, anybody tell me if there was white screws available? Uh, they're saying, yeah, those, there is, so. All right, awesome. Well, so you can paint over them. So this is the work in progress. Do you want to pull up our finished one? I have one that's finished, the one I keep talking about that's mine that I've used for a few years. This is the one you'll see on my original blog post. Um, again, these have just been glued on all these years. I actually rounded out my corners, and you can see the finished decorative edge. And this is just screwed on. So... Mine's a little bit smaller than this one, but I had a, I had less numbers to do. So this is the finished product. Santa stops here, street address sign, and uh, your kiddos will be happy. Santa's not going to miss their house. 
All right, that's it for us tonight. Tune in, uh, make sure you hit subscribe down there at the bottom. Tune in tomorrow around one for a really cool um, upcycled Christmas card project. Uh, it's gonna, they're gonna show you how to make some really pretty home decor. Make sure you share, you have a couple seconds left to share this Facebook Live video and you can win a prize from Home Talk. And I appreciate all of you guys tuning in tonight. Stop by my blog, check out the post on Home Talk, and I will see you guys next time. Good night.